Hello, good morning. It's Beauty by Timmy, and I will be doing a natural makeup look with not as many products as I usually use. So let's get going. Hairband. Keep my hair out of my face. I will be using my normal uh what would you call it? My normal suspects. <laughs> um, this is the Vayu Day Cream Ava Shine Lip Treatment and Eyebrow uh, Lash Blast Serum. Don't use it on my lashes because it is extremely potent to my eyes and my face hates it. Um, I'll also be putting this Shine Lip Balm underneath this lip collagen. I've found that it helps my lips a lot more. And the Chapstick Total Hydration in Sugar Plum. This is just a lip scrub. I've been having to use lip scrubs lately because... My lips get very dry and disgusting and I need to take care of them a lot more. And because it's a sugar scrub, it gets everywhere. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to go in with the Bayou Day Cream SPF 15. And I really have hit the bottom of the jar. And I'm not flicking you off, I'm just putting on my moisturizer. So today hasn't been very eventful. Kirky, our eldest, decided to put his teddy bear that he got from his great-grandmother in dirty water. So now with the clothes I've got to hang out today, I also have to wash his teddy bear so that 
he can go to sleep tonight. And it's quarter past one right now. This is just the shine lip balm from Kmart. Now I'm going in with the collagen treatment. Now the brow serum. And I actually have seen an awesome change in my eyebrows. And I haven't coloured or tinted my brows either. This is just their natural, normal colour. So now, because I'm going to be only doing a natural makeup look today, I'm going in with the Models Prefer Argan Infusion Concealer in Fair. Yep. And then I'll be going in with the C4 Infinite Conceal and Define Revolution Concealer. And then my normal face powder situation the Ulta HD press powder in natural revolution laminate brow in dark brown colossal curl bounce from Maybelline in blackest black And my Pure Matte Liquid Matte Lipstick in Blush Creme. Alright, let's get started. So I do have a few pimples around my face. And I just want to spot treat them with, or cancel them out, with the Conceal and Define. Even though I don't want to defy Define them anymore, not defy. Had to look in my mirror so that I was putting it on the right places. And I'm just going to blend that in with the Real Techniques 204 buffing brush. And because I have to ask our landlord if we're able to get some fly screens on our windows, because it's seriously, you're roasting in here. It's like you're a baked potato in the oven. Awesome, that's all blended in. Put that here. Stay. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the... Argan Oil Infusion Concealer. And it's just 
on the parts of my face where I want it to be brightened, such as my under eyes, my forehead, and my nose. With uh, contouring and really defining my face, I don't really want to do that, but I will be using a brush, uh, blush, not brush, a powder blush out of my Revolution uh, Relighted Blush palette. And there's four more, I think, that I want to buy and test out. And I cannot even express how much this Argan Oil infused concealer. It just smells clean. It smells fresh. I just love this smell. So the start of the year hasn't been very exciting for us. It's just been relaxing at home, kind of working on our weight loss and getting back to our healthier selves. We haven't really been eating the best because who am I kidding we're on school holidays and the kids have four weeks or three weeks now that it's the first week of January yeah three weeks left of holidays with them and just trying to do our thing and make sure that both kids are okay and looking after their health and well-being. Now I'm going in with the HD Pressed Powder in Natural. And you'll see me use this a lot this year because I do find it, uh, um, it's very natural, hence the um, colour of it. But... <laughs> It is very natural. It's not cakey. I don't find it as heavy as some powders. I have tried a lot of powders within my time. And this is very light, very beautiful on the skin. It's awesome. And I'll be going in with my setting spray as well. And if you've been following me for a while, comment down below. Any questions or comments or tips? 
that I will use because I love tips and tricks. within the makeup industry. And that just straight up went in my eye. Well, we can't have that. And I hopefully fixed it. Now I'm going in with the Revolution Brow Laminate, and I'm not ignoring you, my mirror is just here. And I have been following the natural contour shape of my eyebrow. And as I'm using the pencil portion of the eyebrow laminate, I do work it in with an eyebrow spoolie so that it gets into all the nooks and crannies of my eyebrow. And then I just fill in wherever I need it to be filled in. Because knowing me and growing up, I did pluck my eyebrows a heck of a lot and I did make them incredibly sparse and I had a bald spot just here and it wasn't um it looked like I had half a brow here and the other half over here so Using that brow serum has really helped my eyebrows in a huge way. And the laminate portion is just a clear gel on the other end. It has gone a bit funky because of the brush dipping and having to get more for the other brow so it does get a bit yucky and I don't usually clean up under my brows with concealer or anything if I'm doing a um, natural makeup look But I'll come back and do the lips and eye portion and I won't be using eyeliner today, um, just the mascara. See you in a minute. So now I'm going to get on with my lashes and I don't have a lash curler only because my Emco Beauty one I've had, I had for three years and it broke. So I need to get another one when I shop next. But I'm just using my mascara to build up the volume and the curl, natural curl my lashes have. And I also have 
a best employment interview tomorrow afternoon. Not that I have to worry about it today, but I will have to go down tomorrow afternoon and get it done. One eye done. Get the other one done. I am thinking about recolouring my hair red, but I am umming and ahhing about it. I don't know whether I should. Or whether I shouldn't. My hubby doesn't. He doesn't care what colour I make my hair. Because I've got to live with it. But. I. Had red hair. For pretty much all of 2020 and 2021. And since I've gone back to darker colours, I love it. So I will either go back to black, like just straight up black hair, or... Um, have one that has a bit of red tint in it. Now let's move on to the lips. So this is the LA Girl Shockwave Lip Liner in Rosewood. And I'm just using this to define my lips. Because this lipstick is beautiful, but sometimes it makes my mouth look like I don't have, I'm not wearing any lip thing at all. And I have an OXX eyeshadow brush that I use to blend out the edges of the lip liner. Let's get on to it. And now I'm just going to blend this out with the OXX eyeshadow brush. Now going with the blush creme 
Humor lipstick. We'll go on top of it with the lip gloss because it does look really beautiful with the lip gloss. This lip combination. This is the Girl Boss Australis Glitz Lip Gloss. And it's in the colour Fury. and the last bit to this i'll be using my revolution blush uh palette in sugar and spice and the lighting's funny because it looks like it's going to have a bit of a rain here. So I'll only be using a light colour and it'll be this one here. It is beautiful. So if you can see that. It is a beautiful colour. And I won't be doing any contouring or anything too drastic. The lips don't look all that natural, but who am I kidding? I love doing a beautiful lip combo. Makeup Revolution setting spray. If I can put the lid on it. And that's me all done. I hope you really enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. If you love my channel, please subscribe. And if you have anything you'd like to say, comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you. Bye.